Hey, I heard that you want to have a math question. Yes. Okay. So we will be looking for three digits A, B, C, so that if we have zero point A B A B A B forever plus zero point A B C A B C A B C forever, we will end up with a nice fraction, thirty three over thirty seven. And of course, please pause the video and try this first. Okay, hopefully you guys have a chance to try it. And now let's figure this out. Well, we are dealing with decimal numbers right here on the left hand side. Let's just do some division on the right hand side to see what we get, right? So have a look. Let's say we have 33 divided by 37. Let's see, we just, man, zero point and then zero. And we need a eight times this is two nine six and then we subtract and all that stuff and let me just tell you we get 0 0.891891891 okay <laughs> okay i know but anyway it's just a division all right now let's change everything into the decimal form so right here this is technically saying we have this 0 point a b a b a b forever and then this right here is of course we add 0 point a, B, C, A, B, C, and then of course forever. And we want to make this, so I'm going to say we will set this to be zero point, right? I'll just put this down right here in red. Zero point eight nine one eight nine one, and so on, so on, so on. So that's the idea. We have to find out A, B, C. Hmm, so how can we do this? Well, of course, we just have to reason things out along the way. Have a look. First of all, of course, imagine we have to do this plus that. Of course, that would be 2a. So we can see that we have to have 2a, right? 2a equals 8 based on that. This is actually just one of the possibilities, though, because we can also have you add 2a together and you end up with a 7. But it's not possible this right here is not possible because of course when we have this kind of question a b c they are all whole numbers so if you have two a's equal to seven that's not possible so this right here is not the case and the reason i said two a the result when you add could be seven it's because if that was the case then you do this plus that you have to carry over one plus seven give you the eight right so this is not possible so based on this, 2a is equal to 8, so we know a should be equal to 4, right? So that's nice. All right, now let's continue. Next, we have b plus b is equal to 9. So right here, of course, we can say 2b is equal to 9. Or 2b is equal to 8, if we have the carryover, right? Have a look. Is it possible to have 2b equals 9? I don't think so, so cross that out. And is it possible to have, yes, 2b is equal to 8? Then in that case, of course, this right here just implies b has to be 4. But in this case, you have to remember that I put down this being 8. I'm waiting for b plus c to be 1 and 1. Namely 11, of course. All right. So now let's see if it will work. A is 4. You just put it down right here. Plus C is 11. And of course, C is equal to 7. Hmm. Okay. So I think we are done. Double check. It's always a good habit to double check. Yeah. The math question was good, huh? Like it?